Today, we're ranking all the expansion packs. I'm Candice, and with me is my fellow Waffle and Simmer, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Hello. So our rankings are Simtastic, Awesome, A Basic Bella. I wanted to put something else, but this is YouTube. And then C, I couldn't figure out anything that started with C for Sim, so I just did Cheap. <laughs> and the last one is Dag Dag, a.k.a. Goodbye in Simish. So our very first expansion pack is yes. get to work came out march 31st 2015 and oh my gosh i can't believe it was that long ago i was shook when i saw this because i couldn't believe that it had been that long and then it also felt like it had been longer time has no meaning anymore this is true this especially is when you're playing sims yeah there's no concept of time <laughs> get to work we have th three new active careers detective mm -hmm. doctor and scientist which i really enjoyed the doctor and scientist career. The detective one is so glitchy still. It's still so bad. I just played it yesterday, just trying to get a feel of the other careers. And the detective, I kept trying to interrogate someone and he just walked around the precinct. I'm like, you are a criminal. What are you doing? Get back here. Yeah, it's definitely buggy still, which is special. <laughs> What is The Sims without the glitches? So we have a new skill, baking, which is cute. But the baking doesn't really make sense because there's like, you can cook cake. Yeah. And yeah. So we're not going to go into all of that. <laughs> all of the problems. <laughs> all of that. I know Maggie wants to talk about aliens. Get to work. You get this really fun feature where your sim, particularly male sims, can get abducted by aliens and they come back pregnant, which... <laughs> is so funny because I truly think that this aspect of the expansion pack was a side effect of a certain corner of Tumblr that was really popular at the time and a certain phrase that was made really popular at the time. And 2015 was right when that section of the fandom was starting to burn out a little bit. So I think Sims got in right on the tail end of that. But I think it's fascinating and it never fails to entertain me when you have blue and green babies. They're so adorable. And then sometimes the parent will just show up randomly and you're like, is this the one that just arrived to cause chaos? Yeah, you don't know. If you use a telescope a lot, sometimes your sins can be abducted. Sometimes they mm -hmm. come back pregnant. So there are no aspirations and no new traits for this. There mm -hmm. is a new world, Magnolia Promenade, but it's not a full world. It's just four lots, three of which are just pre-built stores. Yeah. And it's disappointing because you always want that new world to play in. That was my struggle with Sims 4 in general compared to like Sims 3 and Sims 2 is there's not enough lots. Mm. There's not enough houses. No, you find yourself having to create a lot of new save files if you want to do like a lot of fun creative building. Yeah. There is a secret lot called 6am, which is Maxis spelled backwards. You can access with a wormhole generator and I think you can also access it if you are an astronaut and yeah it's cute you can get like some collectibles i like the retail aspect of it you get your sims to make something and then they can sell it like they can open a bakery or like have an art gallery or something fun like that so there's a lot of control except the employees for your retail shop don't do what they're supposed to do terrible i was like can i just fire you I don't understand how that still does not work. <laughs> it still does not work. Oh my gosh. When we go through packs, we're going to spend like 15 minutes talking about Dine Out. Oh no. <laughs> don't mention Dine Out. It's, it's so cursed. It's so bad. So where would you put this in? So <laughs> I love this one, not just because of the aliens, but I think it's because I have that like degree of nostalgia for it because it was it's like true. the first big expansion pack that came out so i do rank this at the very top wow the very top i know i'm a bad person <sighs> i'm like it's the aliens okay i would say basic so i think we're gonna meet in the middle and go awesome okay. because it just the glitches it yeah. made it playable for so freaking long which we're gonna talk a lot especially when we get to a certain pack Oh, yeah. the next one is Get Together, which came out December 8th, 2015. Major new gameplay in that is you create and join clubs. 
Yes. And how often do you have clubs for your Sims? Maddie? Never. I know I barely ever use it anymore. <laughs> I think I used it when it first came out and then I was like, wow, this is actually boring. And I don't actually like any of the Sims that join my club. Yeah. It's it was fun like at first, but when you're doing a gameplay or you're trying to get like a career or something, you don't have time for these clubs. It felt very I, much like real life. I feel, yeah, this is true. I feel like the clubs would be more fun if the Sims was something that you could co-play with. And so you could have like actual friends that were part oh, of your yeah. club and like you could all play together. That felt like what this wanted to be. They're not fun and the handshakes are lame and I don't know. <laughs> you get some social boost. You can also up your skills a little bit faster sometimes. You can have a homework club for the kids. Maybe if you're doing the super parent thing and you have five kids, start a club for those five children. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think um, people do that when they do the multi-family, like the 100 baby challenge and stuff. Yeah. They'll make them all a club and then make their the thing that they do eat. So that they can call the entire club to have, and they have like the, I think it's from the dine out kit, the like fridge that you can pull from the chest and they let them like get plates of food from that. So like, that's how you feed your hundred babies. Oh, so you have like this giant family dinner. That's yes. cute. We get a new party, dance party, which sometimes your Sims just want to dance. My Sims always want to freaking dance. I put a stereo in their lot. It's constantly, yes, Zemo this dancing. Is- Yes. There's new woohoo locations. The closet. There are. The woohoo and bush. Big fan of the bush. <laughs> okay, but the bar, the one bar that has the closet that's just like randomly downstairs. Oh, I can't remember. Is it in Windenburg? It's in Windenburg. Yeah. I think that's so funny because it does not look like it fits in that bar at all. It no. really, somebody just said, oh, we have this new woohoo closet. Everybody's going to woohoo right by the bar. Yeah. I mean, your Sims drink that juice and want to do some stuff. They get the new aspiration leader of the pack, which is about the club, which is fun to do once. But I really do love the new world in this, the Windenburg, because it's so big. I think it's the biggest one. It has 27 lots and it's very much like Germany inspired architecture. And I really like the Von Haunt estate. With a ghost. Oh, fun fact. The first pack in The Sims 4 to have a delay in its release. It's a second pack. <laughs> and it's the first to have a delayed release. Yikes. Big yikes. Yeah. So that was just a preview of things to come, Simmers. Mm. Okay, so we really love the world, but we're meh about the gameplay aspect. Do basic... So cheap. I pers- yeah, I personally rank this as a cheap. It's like I don't hate it, but I have not a lot of love for it. Yeah, I don't really play anything in this pack again except for dancing. The dancing and the town. Yeah. Like I like otherwise the town. I haven't used clubs since it came out. Yeah, same. And honestly, whenever my son gets a call from somebody being like, join this club, I'm like, no. Hang up, no. <laughs> Every time, just no. It's honestly all the relationship status trying to change has made me miss just getting the club's calls. Because we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay, so next is City Living, which came out November 1st, 2016. So like nearly a year later. I'm surprised how much time like each of these took, but then I remember there's like packs and stuff. It's so funny to me. I feel like summers now are really spoiled because I've definitely seen like no shade, no foul to like some newer summers that got into it over the pandemic being like, oh my God, when are they going to release a new one? And it's like, they just released one like a month ago and they're like, when's the next one? And I'm like, oh, my sweet summer sim. You <laughs> have be not been time. where I've been. <laughs> like, like, just looking at the list of these packs that we're looking at and the fact that the first one is 2015 and it is currently 2022. Yeah. It's not a lot, really, for the amount yeah. that you pay. It's Yeah, it's only 12 of them. Yeah. So, okay, study livings. We get apartments, finally, and penthouses, and there's cultural festivals, and there's cool little districts like the Art Quarter, Fashion District. And there's new careers like politician, art, and food critic. 
social media like manager pretty <laughs> like one of my jobs <laughs> yes and there's now lot traits so your lot can have a trait too like you can have gremlins that keep messing up your stuff or they can be like pick pixies that leave like a few dollars here and there do and you, you use have lot traits I do. I love lot traits so much, so much. I especially love the haunted lot trait, especially when you get that pack that has all like the paranormal stuff. I I love that one so much. And the twins or like when you do pets. So you have like stray dogs and cats that wander around on your lot. I love lot traits. Yeah. And the great thing about this new feature is that it goes with, like you were saying, all the new packs they add things like there's something for the island living and all the other ones too. But yeah, you can have like an earthquake. You're on a quake yes. <laughs> It's so random. And like good Wi-Fi or yeah. good lighting. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. So there's a whole new world. I feel like Ariel. <laughs> San Machu- my scene. Yeah. Machine. Machino. Yeah. And I I really like it because, like, as cities, it's, like, culturally diverse, like, cities are with the districts. And it's fun. And I like the apartment feeling of, like, community with The Sims. Yeah. And I really like the cast stuff in here, the clothes and the outfits. There's so much good stuff in this pack. I think this is the pack that, before Cottage Living, this is the pack that I use the most And I will tend to move my Sim into an apartment before I ever put them into a house. Just because, like, I like the vibe. And also when you're starting a new game, this has the most social aspect to it. Because you're right there where the festivals, like, are happening. And you can go downstairs and, like, wander around and, like, meet people. And, like, sometimes you'll meet your neighbors. And it feels a lot more, like, community-based than even when you're living on, like, one of the busier streets pre-built streets in the game and I just discovered something about this one like the beginning of this year so one of the apartments that you can move into is like a hundred and fifty dollar rent like it's super cheap it's the cheapest apartment in San Machino and when you move in there is like the police tape cut out on the the person yep I've been in that one (laughs) that is permanently stuck (laughs) on the floor and there's a suspicious smell you keep trying to clean it and, and it, it doesn't go away. So I, <laughs> the last time I played, I made my Sim a paranormal investigator and I set the lot to being haunted <laughs> and like had ghosts that moved in and like she fell in love with the ghosts that lived there and made them human. It was like the, I just like played out like crazy plots and like my whole head cannon was that was like the murdered person. Oh, he got a second chance at life he got and a second love. chance at life. Yes. I love coming up with like big expansive plots in these games. But no, this that's one like the, cracked me up. That's what's fun about Sims 4. Like I'm recently playing like a married couple and like suddenly like the husband wants to flirt with his mother-in-law. And I'm like, maybe I'll let him. We'll see what happens. The drama. Exactly. The drama. So I think we're both in agree that this is Simtastic. 100%. This is totally like. Yeah. My go-to. I totally agree. If I had to delete every single pack, this is the one I'd keep. Yeah, this is the one I also start out with a lot because you don't have that much money when you're starting out. You can get like a cheap like apartment and just hang out. You know? You're know, you like me and you don't really like having to play careers in the game to make money and you don't want to just cheat the whole time. The careers in this pack, like social media, are so easy because you don't have to go anywhere and you can just do it all on yeah. your computer and do other stuff and don't have to be stuck at your computer the whole time. It's yeah, great. like the work from home feature or just like work out, work outside the office is, and it's just usually like one thing. It's like go to the art district and meet three people and that takes like five seconds to do. It's so, so much fun. And then you can try like the different kind of foods. And yeah, there's an aspiration to, to explore all of the city, which is fun. There's a new death, the pupper fish death. <laughs> Oh, God, I forgot about that. I know. It's just, I love it. It's my, one of my favorites, too. Okay, so next is Cats and Dogs, November 10th, 2017. Over a year after City Living. This, this is, is a crazy. really long time. I didn't realize these were that long. Okay, like on the 10, it says it's Cats and Dogs. And you can become a vet and run a clinic. And there's new skills about vet, veterinarian skills and pet training. 
new traits, dog and cat lovers, and new aspiration, friend of animals. Have you ever played as a vet? I have. Not super satisfying as somebody who played Barbie Pet Rescue as a child, which is just like everything I love about video games. Like I love the game so much when I got this. So I was like two years out of college and I was playing Sims all the time because like I didn't have a social life. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be able to relive Barbie Pet Rescue. No, it's not like that at all. But you do get to rescue pets because you can adopt pets off the street. So it's close enough close enough but the vet is just very unsatisfying and I don't know if they fixed it yet but like the last time I took one of my pets to the vet I got stuck in like the loop where it yeah. wouldn't see my pet and I couldn't do any of the cheats because it was an active situation and I couldn't get anything to work and I finally had to just lose all of my stuff built up to that point and I'm like this is annoying yeah <laughs> it happens a lot <laughs> so the new oh. world is Brindleton Bay. It's very New England. So cute. Yes, it's a coastal town surrounded by beaches and various... And the lighthouse. Yes. Which is a woohoo location, by the way. Okay, of course. I really like the... The light spins around. (laughs) I like the bar Whiskerman's Wharf. Yes. Because all the cats hang out there. All the cool cats. All the cool cats. So something that kind of annoys me is you can't control the cats and dogs. Like they're not playable characters like they were in Sims 3, I believe. And even in Sims 2, somebody created a mod where you could control them. Yeah. As as far as I know, no one has created that mod yet. Yeah, there's doesn't seem to be anything like related. Also, I feel like in the past pets packs, they just aren't cats and dogs. There's things like pocket pets which there is a stuff pack for that but it feels like they meant to put that in this and then they were like no thank you we want more money yeah. and what the pack the stuff pack it's like hamsters or something right yeah Rituals. it's like rodents hedgehogs and you can die by hamster i think and you become a giant hamster in the afterlife Okay, I need now I need to buy the pack to test that out because I had no idea about that. And my issue with this is I feel guilty playing with virtual dogs when my dog's right there looking at me. Have you made a virtual Bucky? No, because I don't want him to die. (laughs) That's so true. It gets so emotional when the pet sims die. Okay, you know what I, okay, we'll talk about cottage core. What I did cottage core. Oh no. It turned off aging for cows and llamas oh the chickens could go i think oh yeah screw those chickens <laughs> screw the chickens so how are you feeling about oh gosh i feel like awesomes maybe awesomes yeah it's somewhere between awesomes and basic bella for me but i think because it does like personally improve my gameplay because i always make sure the Sims that I don't have a devious plan for, they always have a pet. <laughs> like sometimes I have Sims that I create with the intention that they're going to die in very miserable ways. So they don't get pets. No, they don't need that happiness in their lives. Exactly. Okay. So I'm like very close to like basic bell. Cause I feel like. I'll go basic bell if you want. Wait, I we'll go, cause that's cause you were on the edge and I'm going to. Yeah, you push the scales. If they put the pet stuff with it, it would be an awesome, yes. no question. Yes. But I feel like maybe, uh, this is just like speculation, but there are rumors that they were going to make it pets, but then like they didn't have time or something like that. The Sims not having time with their packs, rushing packs out, you don't And then just say. making random stuff packs and To fill in the bugs. It. So fascinating. <laughs> Who knew? So next we have a year and a half later is Seasons, June 22nd, 2018. All you new simmers, do not complain about waiting six months. That's insane. I did not realize it took that long. It took so long. That's why like every time they complain, I'm just like, oh, my sweet summer simmers. (laughs) You do not know. So there's weather and seasons, obviously. And there's new seasons activities, like you can go roller riding or ice skating. And there's a new career for gardening. And like the coolest thing is like holidays that you can create your own holidays too, which is pretty awesome. And there are no new worlds in this. And according to 
one of the developers, they said they wanted to focus on how all the existing worlds and neighborhoods interact with seasons, which I like that. Like if you go to, gosh, what's a desert town? Oasis Springs. So it never snows there because it's like a desert town, which makes sense. And so does not the island. So I like that there's that level of detail with it. It's just not all of a sudden going to snow where it usually wouldn't snow. Maggie, can you tell people why you got this pack? So I was just, I have never bought this pack. I remember when it came out in 2018 and like I was going to buy it. And then I was like, nah, I don't really care. Flash forward to like February 2022, I was like deep into a sim spiral and I was like browsing TikTok in between the spiral and somebody was talking about how you could romance Patchy the Scarecrow and I was like, oh, you can romance a Scarecrow and I thought the Scarecrow was like just out there, like something you can easily, because I had cottage living so I thought, oh, maybe it's like part of that because like that would make sense. And then it was like, oh, actually it's in seasons. And I was like, and there was a deal going on. So I got this and I got like a smaller pack or whatever and did the deal. But yeah, you, so you can romance Patchy, you befriend him and then you romance him and then he can move him into your family. And then you have to get a new scarecrow because now he's like alive. You can have kids with Patchy. Are um, they scarecrow kids? They're not scarecrow. So Shame. as we all know, all of the creepy things in Sims, except for werewolves and vampires, are just costumes. So you can go and take his costume off once you add him to the family. Like, that's immediately he becomes cast editable. And he's, like, a nice-looking white man with black hair, dark eyes, tall, dark, and handsome. You know how it is. But you can also romance Santa Claus. And there's yeah, Father Winter, and there's a trend going around tiktok right now of people creating like santa babies where they're like ice princesses and like pretty little like christmas day looking outfits that are just designed just to romance father christmas and to have his kids and i think it's the funniest trend and i have purposefully kept my computer in another room because i'm very tempted <laughs> to play that i had had a sim have father christmas's baby but he's like a teen now and i don't see any winter ice powers oh that's disappointing i think yeah. you have to do things in a specific pattern i feel like somebody talked about it on tiktok in order to like get the special powers you have to um, do things to father winter in a certain okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah yeah but i will say i played like the last playthrough i played of sims before i was like i need to <laughs> calm down i had a sim that had a baby with father christmas patchy a werewolf vampire and the really hot ghost she was like i'm gonna i'm gonna be with all of the paranormal people you can have game. you can have a baby with a ghost i didn't know that you make him alive you bring him oh, back to life with yeah, a paranormal so, pack yeah it's the really hot ghost he's hot like i'm not judging look him up if you haven't met him yeah i don't know if i have because I don't have the paranormal pack. Oh, you need to get the paranormal pack. Next yeah. Time. Okay. So where do you think we're gonna rank the Sims? I personally Seasons. think I, the Sims. Where do we rank the Sims? I personally think awesome because yeah. I like that you can create your own holidays and it's across the entire game. Even new games feature this. I think it's a fun, really smart pack. Yeah, and you can change the kind of holidays each family has, so it's unique to them. So you're not playing mm -hmm. the same holiday over and over again. You can choose what events happen. Like, you can have a winter holiday without Father Winter, which I don't know why you wouldn't, right, Maggie? <laughs> okay, so that's an awesome. So our next one is, oh, it came out the same year. Get famous. Yeah, <laughs> Maggie, sorry. <laughs> So fame is nothing new to the Sims franchise, but you gain fame and reputation with this. There's the new acting career. There's scars, gold teeth, and create a sim. There's a new trait, which is self-absorbed, and a new skill, acting, and also media production. A new aspirations with world-famous celebrity and master actor. I don't like the fame thing. I hate it so much. It doesn't work. Yeah. I hate the character, like the Sims, the NPCs 
when they encounter a celebrity like faint or fall over and act stupid, it's really obnoxious, especially if you're like out on a date in the game and like a celebrity. It's always that blonde one whose name I can't remember. Judith Ward. She Judith, is the worst. She's the worst. She always shows up wherever I'm having a date and everybody just focuses on her. And then the date ends and it goes unsuccessful because everybody got distracted. It's very annoying. And the thing is, I thought she would only hang out like at celebrity hangouts, but no, she's going she, to like, she, she, I find her the in tinted. the cottage living pack. And I'm like, get out of here. You do not belong here. When I did the like Black Widow challenge, I made sure my son married her. Good. And then she made sure she just had an accident. Oh, it's so sad. And then took her celebrity house. <laughs> so the new world is Del Sol Valley. It's based on LA. It only has like 11 lots. The ha- lots, the houses are either super cheap or they're the celebrity houses. and Which is so funny to me because there's no cheap houses in LA. Yeah. <laughs> it's like $17,000 for a house. Yes, please. That would get you like maybe like not even someone's garage. <laughs> yeah. So they get like you like somebody's back room in their garage. Yeah. <laughs> they get a she shed. Compare, I hate to compare, but comparing this with Sims 3, like the Night Out and their other packs, it can't compare. And I hate Judith Ward. <laughs> I hate her so I have it much. in my notes. She's terrible. Yes. And it just, it gets so annoying when, like, let's say you are in a career and it's like, you need to be friends with the people you work with. But then... Some of the people we work with are famous and you're like, but I can't talk to them at all because Mm -hmm. they're above me. And you can't even like romance a celebrity. Like you have to be on the same level as them, which is really annoying. And like I created a household and it might've been a glitch like in between packs last year, but I created a household where he was famous and she wasn't. And they were like, I had them as roommates because I was going to like marry them off. And like, I couldn't even get them flirting and they lived in the same house together. I I had that with, uh, like, a grandparent was a celebrity, and the grandchild couldn't even talk to, like, her grandmother. She rebuffed a toddler. (laughs) It's so deeply flawed, still. It's it's like, this is is your grandchild. (laughs) And toddler's like this, and, like, it's rejected. I'm not going to sign your autograph, little two-year-old. I'd be like, no, we have a friend in common. It's my mother. (laughs) She probably got rid of her daughter, too. She's like, no, simply not. Yeah. Okay, so are we going to cheaper dag dag? Dag dag. Dag dag. Yeah, I turn off the fame point thing, too. I hate it so much. Because I don't also, like, oh, my gosh. The one time I was playing, and they had a stan, and the sim just, like, randomly appears at your window. It freaked me the heck out. Oh, God. Okay, so next we have island living which came out june 21st 2019 so we get mermaids and dolphins and you have a new career which is a conservationist and part-time jobs diver fisherman lifeguard there's new traits like child of the island and child of the ocean and new aspiration of beach life what do you think about mermaids i love the mermaids you can have children with the mermaids and you can have baby Um, mermaids You can have baby mermaids. I think it's really fun. I think that the mermaids, the pre-made mermaids in this game are really great as well. I particularly love interacting with them. I like the tail customization. I think the tops are really fun. I wish that there was a little more fun that you could do with hair. I would like a lot more like long flowing weird colored hair. I feel like that's a major flaw. But I overall like I don't really care for like the rest of this pack, but the mermaid aspect of it. Yeah, okay, again, comparing it to Sims 3, when you would snorkel, you would actually be able to see, like, the treasure and see, like, sea life. But now you just go under and you wait. Yeah. Your Sim goes through a rabbit hole, which makes it a little bit down for me. Yeah. The new world, Solani, is beautiful. I love that you can have, like, a house right on the water. Except no houseboats. Like, last... Like, again, since three, where you could literally, like, go to a different part of the island. There's also a lot of glitches with building on the beach, which I find really annoying and really frustrating. And I don't think there's enough beachfront lots. Yeah. 
I think that this pack in particular should have had a lot more buildability and it doesn't. Yeah. And you can't build anything in the water in any other world. So there are a few other worlds that have beaches or on the beach lots, but you can't do the same kind of thing, no. which I feel like is disappointing. Overall, I think it, Sims 3 did it better, except mm -hmm. I do remember Sims 3 glitching on my computer all the time because it was Sims 3. Yeah. So where are we going to rank this one? This, I think, is cheap for me, but mm -hmm. maybe somewhere in between Basic Bella and cheap. Yeah, because we do get – the mermaids are really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I say Basic Bella, so we're going to just go up one because – there the go. mermaids are cool, and the, the world is very pretty. It's a fun world. I just think this pack should have had a lot more. Yeah. I feel like in the other one, there was also, like, hotels, and you can manage them and things like that. What can you do? Okay. Wow. Another one. Two in one year. Discover University, which came out November 15th, 2019. So, like it says, you go to university, and you, there's 13 degrees you can choose from. And it helps you with your career later on. You can take up to four classes a semester. You need 12 to graduate. It takes so long. It takes so long. And then if you take four classes, it's so hard. It, I get stressed out trying to complete all the homework and things like that. And then you also have to do some side stuff. So then you can't really explore the rest of the world. Yeah. It, the new world is Brinchester, Britchester. And there's the University of Britchester and Foxbury Institute. And there's mm -hmm. an off-campus neighborhood called Gibbs Hill. There's some glitches with this one, too. I recently played it with my sim staying at home. She finished all 12, didn't graduate. She never got her diploma, nothing. The thing I find really frustrating about this one is the concept looks so great on paper this seems like it'd be so much fun I found it to be really boring I didn't feel like it felt like going to university because they're really I hate sororities and fraternities in real life but I felt like this was a really good opportunity that they could have expanded on the clubs concept they had those kind of things in Sims 2 or Sims 3 I can't remember exactly the then you could live with your sorority or fraternity. Exactly. And I totally thought, oh my God, that's what we're getting with this. And then I expected like a stuff pack that might bring us yeah, something that. like that to the game. And it didn't. And I just felt like it felt like high school all over again without any of the fun that you're supposed to have in university. And I don't play Sims just sit around inside of the house and just play on the computer all day trying to do school work. Yeah. And it's so repetitive having to do like 12 classes like that i feel like if your skill i think it was in sims 3 if your skill level was at a certain point or if you had a career you would get credit for that and then you wouldn't have to do all 12 but there's no option for that you get scholarships if you have certain skills but that's it yeah it just i don't know it was a dud for me i do like the clothes in this pack i think that we had a lot of really good mostly for female sims again like sims does not like creating good men's clothing in this no. game at all it drives me crazy but there are some like cute little crop tops like the crop tank knitted tanks that are really cute and some of the sleep shorts that are really adorable like some good jean shorts there's also the best skinny jeans out of the whole pack come from this one and because like my Sims like almost always wear skinny jeans and boots. Oh, and it, you get Doc Martens or Sims versions of Doc Martens. And that's like my go to for all of my Sims that live in the city. That's what they wear. So I do love this pack for the clothing, but they could have given that to us in a stuff pack and yeah. not wrapped it up in a really terrible university game. Yeah, it feels like the cast stuff in this one is very millennial. Oh, yeah. Maybe a more recent one is for the Zoomers. But this was, like, that, like, very much for us. Yeah. Our fashion sense. Okay. Oh, we're so mixed. Cheap? It's yeah. It's not quite dag. Uh, yeah, it's cheap, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait. Our next one was Eco Lifestyle, which is came out June 5th, 2020. And it's a whole new game mechanic that determines how much the world is in a contaminated state. And it changes based on how your Sims vote, interact with it, recycle, 
do all this kind of things. And it works with all the worlds, which is pretty cool. And there are two new aspirations, four new traits, and a new career civil designer. And he, yeah, the new world, Evergreen Harbor, which is industrial and really cool. And this is so different than anything else The Sims has ever done. Yeah. Which I feel like we got to give them props for that. This was definitely what I felt like was a step forward for Sims in really leaning into the mechanics of what the game can do. This also felt very similar to Sim Cities. Yes. Because you could do all this kind of stuff in Sim Cities from a much more like God status. So this is fun to be more boots on the ground, getting to like affect chain. I actually really love this pack. Yeah. I, and I love in this pack, it changes, it adds things to other worlds, like mm -hmm. other packs and get famous if you are voting for someone or if you're like rallying people you can increase your fame in that regards and there's things like that i think the spell casters can like do some magic to get rid of smog or something yes so i love that there's integrations with that mm -hmm. it feels like they're all unified in that regard you also get a new woohoo location with this pack what is it i forget the dumpster it's the dumpster. oh my god i forgot about the dumpster you can go dumpster diving Yes, and you can actually find stuff and then you can bring it home and if you get enough of different things, you can build stuff out of it and get like reclaimed wood chairs and like tables and like all sorts of fun stuff. I love this pack for all of the stuff that you can do. And I'm a builder, which is like mostly what I've always used Sims for because of the reason I played SimCity was like that was my urban planning class was we had to like enact all of the stuff in our sim city and so i still approach sims very much that way so i use it for building houses a lot of times like ideas i have for houses and i love this one because i am obsessed with container houses and this pack allows you to build container houses and i have an absolute blast trying to convert containers because it's a very specific size and shape you can't like yeah. make it super big or like super small like you have to build it to the container and figure out like fun ways to like move it around and make it work on a lot and you can do like the tiny homes and have all sorts of like compostable toilets and like water reduced sinks and like both panels and things you can like go that. off the grid and like have it so it's just using solar powered stuff and oh, I love it. It's yeah, like you said, it's very SimCity. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it's it changes so much and there's so much gameplay with this and it integrates with all your Sims, like all your games. It adds a level to it. So how are we feeling? Awesome? Simtastic? I think awesome. Yeah. I think awesome. I don't know, maybe Simtastic. I think maybe some tastic because I it does. Tastic, yeah. It's trying something new. And again, I always applaud. Yeah. When they try something new with that. And it's not super glitchy. That's true. Yeah. I can't think of anything. I can't. And I got this right when it came out. Yeah. And when the world changed, it changed. Huh. Wow. Okay. Whatever they did. I think they actually cared about this one a lot. I think so too. And maybe they've, not that they don't care about this stuff. I'm developers are probably overworked, underpaid, et cetera, time crunches, all that fun stuff. So no offense to them, but I feel like this was a personal project to them. So the next one we got is Snowy Escape, November 13th, 2020. And this one has new gameplay, which is snowboarding, skiing, sledding, and mountain climbing. How do you feel about the extreme sports, Maggie? <laughs> I am not an extreme sporter, so I'll be honest. I did not get this pack when it first came out because it, like, did not appeal to me. I ended up getting it, I guess, probably in 2021 when there was, like, a deal going on. There was, like, two stuff packs I wanted because I did the deal. And I came to – I used I used it once when I got it because, like, ooh, a new pack. Didn't like it, didn't like the world, didn't really like the aesthetics of like the houses and stuff there. But then when I realized that you could go on vacation, I didn't realize that was an aspect of the game. I don't know, it was just not something I really focused on, but I was playing a particular household. And when I realized that you could go on vacation and I took them there like a couple times a year and they would like all bundle up as a family in their little Aww. ski outfits and go skiing, like. It won me over. I was convert at that point. And I think I like this pack as a vacation more than I like this pack as somewhere to live. Yeah, it is. It's a 
I don't know how to explain it. It's a, the new world is Mount Kobe. It's a snowy Japanese inspired mountainous world, which features new type of weather and there's ski sledding area. And then there's also a mountain climbing one where you can actually schedule a excursion to go to the tippy top, which is fun, but also your Sims can freeze to death if you don't do it. And they turn into an ice block. Yes. So yeah, I like it if you're playing specifically for that. There's a really pretty garden area and there's two new aspirations and three new skills and two new traits. And I like the aesthetic of it. The aesthetic of the world is pretty. But like when you're snowboarding, you pretty much just like you click on the hill and your sim snowboards, you know? Yeah, it's not, again, I'm gonna compare it to Barbie, like when you could get hit the slopes in the Barbie video game. <laughs> Did you play them? I had the fashion one where you Okay, would... I did love that one. That you could yeah. print them out. Yes. And then yes. you would wait forever. And then it would come up with like a CGI version of her on the catwalk at the end. Yes. I would like, I would do my homework or extra stuff or read a book while I was waiting for it to load. And then I would be screaming for my parents. I'm like, come here, Barbie's going to walk the catwalk. Because it would take forever to render. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we can play that still. I still have all my Barbie CDs. Okay. So next we have Cottage Living, July 22nd, uh, 2021. And oh my gosh, start playing a Taylor Swift album right now, right? Yes. Just put on Evermore and buy. <laughs> yes. So we get cows, chickens, llamas, wild birds, rabbits, and foxes. <laughs> and we get two new traits, lactose intolerant <laughs> is one of them, animal lover. And a new aspiration, country caretaker, and you can cross stitch. And then the new world is Hen Hemford Bagley. It's a rural UK <laughs> kind of countryside. And it feels like it was made at the perfect time. It came like, out so perfectly. Oh, do you know what we forgot to do? We forgot yeah. to rank Snowy Escape. Basic fella? Yeah, basic. Okay. Yeah. Back to country living. I can't believe we forgot that. We got so distracted by country living. I love the freaking llamas. I love the llamas so freaking much. And that you can dress them up and then change them to yeah. rainbow color. I love them so much. Also, the evil chickens. The evil chicken and the golden chicken. And then the chickens the can foxes. have clothes too. Yes. And the foxes and how they have like, you can create friendships with the foxes. Yeah. And then they don't eat your eggs or attack your chickens if you're friends with them. I love them. It's so cute. You can have a cow and milk those. Bessie. And then, yes. And then you can live off the, not quite off the grid, but you live just based on like the food you have at home. So that's a fun challenge to do. And you can do off the grid because you can turn the electricity off and you have to have like candles and stuff, which is not fun. I don't recommend it. Keep that electricity on. <laughs> but yeah, it's so much fun to do. Like you can, it's like, a cooler farmville or something. I absolutely love the new world. I love the farm. I and like do the not farmer's want market. Yes. And, and the then festivals. There's, yes. And then you can like enter your watermelon or pumpkin or. And like your chicken. You can bring your chicken with you. Or your cow or llama. Fancy rainbow llama. There's one where he looks like a professor. I love it so much. And you can tell them jokes and they can run away from home. Yeah. If you don't treat them right. And you can also woohoo in the barn. And then you, tell what I, you can tell what I play sums for. It's always fun to find the different ways. Not different ways, but different places. Because I don't know what sims are doing in there. Woohooing. They're just going woohoo. You have to have mods for them to do other things. <laughs> so it seems like we really like this one. I love this one. I think it's going up to Simtastic. A hundred percent, yes. Because it's just lovely world lovely i also love life. the people i love that you can get food delivered to your house and like the boy that delivers them is adorable mm. and so also fun. i didn't see any glitches with this one no there were some like i think the day it first came out there was like issues but it was really quickly patched okay. i think there was like chicken issues i didn't get it when it first came out because i was like oh i pre-ordered this one but yeah, once it was on sale, I was like, download. But yeah, never had any issues with the animals or the farm or the town. You can do quests with the creature, the caretaker. Yes. 
they all work fine and you can do stuff for the mayor and like talk to people and like it's so fun yeah and then you get like gossip and you can also yes. help people make up like like should i have a baby and every time i'm like yes and i'm like you better have like 20 children by now every time <laughs> okay <laughs> we are at the final one the 12th entry and it is high school years i did not put any notes for this because i'm still mad <laughs> How so, to fumble the bag. This was so hard to play. No shade to EA. But if you have modders that are able to fix your game before you fix your game, hire the modders because clearly there's a breakdown. Yeah. And just don't know. Like there was a patch that came out, I believe the 2nd of August. And it fixed the incest issue yeah. where... The Sims were wanting to do things with relations and they were all Game of Thrones up in there. Oh, it was Sims of Thrones or Game of Sims. I don't know. But another issue I found was everybody in the high school was famous. So my Sim couldn't talk to anyone at one point. So even like. Even the teacher, the principal, the cafeteria worker, janitor, they were all like celebrities. They definitely fell on hard times, didn't they? Yeah. Teaching like, at wow. a school. I ran into the issue of Sims dying when you would go into Cass. Mine would just age up after you. Oh. And the Sims 4 people were like, just turn off auto aging then. It was like, shouldn't have to do that. No. There is a lot wrong with this. I played it like a day and a half and was like, not worth my time. And then when I saw how slow they were being with trying to fix it, I was like, yep, I'm done with Sims for a while. So I'm going to touch Sims basically since this came out. I've There's four new aspirations. And they're all team-based, which I love the idea of that because teen playing as a teen can be re repetitive. Do the same I thing usually age up almost instantly. because Yeah, I make sure they, I get an A so I can choose what their next quality is and trait is. But... So I've only been able to complete two of the four. That was after some challenge and after the patch and everything like that. But like, for instance, the live fast challenge, you have to be asked out to sneak out of the house to go to a party. That's in the first little milestone. And I made sure my sim was best friends with everybody in the high school. She was a party animal. She messaged everybody constantly on that social bunny thing, which I hate. And nothing. I had to use a cheat to make the milestone, like, go to the next milestone. Because it was like, what if I could? Yeah. So somebody on the boards was like, I tried it for five Sims weeks and I finally got it or something like that. And I'm like, that's too much gameplay. That takes way too long. No. I'm so disappointed because this is such a cool concept. Just thinking about, like, if this had been a good game pack, the contrast between this and then going to university sucks. Because this has all of the stuff that you would have thought university should have had. Like, the going, the socializing, the going to parties, the, all of that mm -hmm. stuff. And it's weird to me. Do you know what else annoys me is, okay, so usually when kids go to school, it's a rabbit hole is what mm -hmm. it's called. So they still go to class, but you can't control like how they are doing in class. Like, oh, study hard, take notes, or maybe be on your cell phone. You can't choose what they are. No. So it's just click, and then you get some free time before, and then some time after, and that's it. And I can't get my Sim to be prom king, no matter what I do. Oh, He's very popular. He deserves it. He should be. Sims is robbing him of something that could be so special. He's like, why am I friends with everybody then? <laughs> What's the I point? A loner. So I think this is going dag dag. <laughs> dag dag. 100% dag dag. Oh my dag. god. This is, I just, I can't. Easy as quick as dag dag. Yeah, I know. I didn't even need to ask you, Maggie. Like. Trash. <sighs> so this is our ranking. We we love Sims. I would like to say that. We, we love Sims. Fun. We've given them a lot of our money. Oh Yeah. I've paid so, full price for most of these packs. Yeah. I did that for this high school one, and I'm like, highly regret. Yeah, I pre-ordered it, and I'm like, man, I could get this for $19.99 next year when they fix this 
But the thing is, okay, all video games usually have patches afterwards, <laughs> upgrades and stuff like that. But not to the point where the game is unplayable the first day. I don't understand how they miss the incest. Like, they claim they have people who play through new packs before they come out. And I know that they sometimes have, like, beta groups. Did everybody just go, finally, we get incest in Sims and, like, just not report it? Everyone was like, oh, I guess I added that mod. I forgot. I don't know. I don't it get it. Me. I, some people were probably happy. Oh, I'm sure. Some people are like, oh, I don't have to turn on my mods. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what is your favorite expansion pack are our rankings completely off i'll have a link to the tier maker link so you can do your own and yeah thanks maggie thank you dag 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 dag, dag. <laughs>